two is four finger one by one. इतने में इतने में हवा की नजर हवा की नजर एक एक आदमी पर पड़ी आदमी पर पड़ी दो दो तो डाउन स्टेस मार कर मत निकले One by one, go down. This for you. This is a very interesting stories. So read it at home. Or understand? Then I have a long history. All right. So today we have come to the Oxford Square Public School. This is a very beautiful school, as I can see, and I can also see the faces of children. They are quite excited, and that's a good sign because we are about to teach them mathematics, isn't it? Now I have come here to teach some of my easy cal techniques of faster mathematics to the children of this school. All right. Now mathematics is a kind of subject if you learn it the right way. then it can be really interesting it can be really easy on your mind in fact it is so involving that you don't feel like doing anything else it just sucks you in completely but then if you don't study it the right way which most people complain of then obviously it can be really taxing so as a teacher it is our responsibility to make sure that mathematics is taught the right way the way mathematics was designed to be taught all right now i'm making a very tall claim here to teach mathematics the way it was designed to be taught who designed mathematics that's the first question that we need to answer well i don't know about that mathematics man has been using since time immemorial but yes the present system of counting that we humans are using today it goes by the name decimal place value system all right and that system was designed in ancient india the ancient mathematicians from india intended that system to be taught in a certain manner using the base of 10 you see the literal meaning of the word decimal people think that decimal means that dot that you see isn't it that separates the dollar from the cents and rupees from paise no that is decimal point which is also known as a radix in mathematics but decimal actually means the base of 10 and that there, there lies the secret once you understand that the entire number system is on the base of 10 then everything just falls into its place all the operations of mathematics like addition subtraction multiplication and even division can be performed with utmost ease without straining your mind at all all right now with that premise and with that promise i am entering into the classroom I'm getting nervous now because I'm getting reminded of my own school days when I was a kid, and I was amongst them, isn't it? And whenever somebody used to come to our school, we used to really look forward to listening to that person, what he had to say, and maybe pass on few smart comments here and there. I'm sure that I'm also going to get the same experience, but let's hope for good. Okay, let's start. Uh, In the name of God. <laughs> डायरेक्टर before uh, i request the honorable guest to kindly come to the stage and uh, um, speak to you uh, i'm inviting the class uh, nine student mohammed salman khan to come and introduce the oxford square to the honorable guests
respected guests and my fellow students. I would like to give you a brief information about the seed of learning. The Oxford Square is a unique educational institution of its kind. It provides complementary education to all its students. This high standard school follows the syllabus of the Central Board of Secondary Education. The school opened on the 25th of March 2007. It has 10 classes. The languages taught are English, German, Arabic, Hindi and Urdu. However, the main emphasis is on learning the English language, the beautiful language of Shakespeare. The English language studies include course book, grammar and composition, workbook and conversation. All the students of this school have to learn how to speak the flawless Queen's English. We have a group of highly qualified, learned teachers who work extremely hard to impart the best education to the students. The Oxford Square is my garden. I am its nightingale. Thank you. Sarshar nigahe nargis hoon, pabaste gesue sumbul hoon. Sarshar nigahe nargis hoon, pabaste gesue sumbul hoon. Ye mera chaman hai mera chaman, mai apne chaman ka bulbul hoon. Excellent. Wow. A few things I would like to add here. See, because the video is being created and it's going to find its way to YouTube and people from world over would be seeing this video, alright, and they would be commenting on it. I just want to point out that you see I am in India right now. We are at this school which is being run for the underprivileged students of the society. And look at that, what a fine job is being done. You know that for Indians English is not the first language. It is not our mother tongue. But people here, students here, are speaking with so much confidence and exuberance. All right, they are speaking like Winston Churchill. You see, all the great names are there. And I'm, I know what you must be thinking. You must be thinking, oh, they are speaking in a different accent. For that, I would like to point out that English is the kind of language that welcomes everybody. Means Indian speaks English as if it is the extension of his own mother tongue. I am speaking English as if I am speaking Hindi. Right now, अब देखिए मैं आपसे हिंदी में बात कर रहा हूँ और आपको ऐसा ही लग रहा होगा कि जैसे मैं आपसे English बोल रहा हूँ। Why? Because the tone intonation is exactly the same. Okay, now coming to the point. The point is that that why doesn't the same thing happen with mathematics? Isn't mathematics a language of numbers? Can't we become fluent in mathematics just like we are fluent in English? Can't we use our eyes to read through the mathematical equations and understand them, make sense out of them just like we do of the written English words, yes. isn't it? And this is the endeavor all about. As we are going to go about this seminar, you are going to see that the whole purpose is to make people, to make the students all around the world fluent with mathematics. That applies to everything. Anything and everything done the right way is always easy. And the converse is also true. If you do it the wrong way, then it can give you a hair pulling experience. Your hair is already pulled out. See, that's called a mohawk cut. <laughs> Very nice. I've been trying to get this thing, but I saw it doesn't work for me. They always stand from this side, not from the middle. Yeah, because you are thinking mathematically. Yes, yes, that's the thing. And maybe some electrical impulses are creating that effect, isn't it? Einstein's hair, Newton's hair. So we are in the same family. Give me any two digit number. You'll say that, okay, he showed the numbers, but he showed it for less than 20, this and that. Give me any two digit number. That's an easy number. Okay. 67. Okay, 67. And let's multiply it with any other two digit number. 76. 76, okay. When I say start, just click on this button. When I say stop, just stop it. Okay. Start. 49 plus 36 is 35 and 85, so 850 and 50, 50 and 50, 92. Stop. 8 seconds. This was a multiplication, isn't it? Let's check the answer as well. I'll tell you what I did. It should not be a secret for you. You should not think that I am doing some something extraordinary. I am just using tables of single digit numbers. You see, I don't know the table of 67, I don't know the table of 76. What I did, I multiplied 7 with 7. I got 49. Because I am good with addition, I multiplied 6 with 6. I got 36. What is 49 plus 36? 85. 85 becomes 850. I'll write it here. 850. Like this. Now, 6 times 7 is how much? 42. Isn't it? 42 plus 8 is? 50. 50. Brilliant, isn't it? And 
seven times six is how much? Forty-two. Forty-two. And fifty plus forty-two is ninety-two. Hundred percent correct answer, isn't it? Was that difficult at all? No. Once I have explained, I did it in eight seconds. We have Sabia here. Sabia is going to give us three-digit numbers, okay? Like five hundred and sixty-eight, three hundred and forty-two. Give me some three-digit numbers. Yeah. Say any number. Yes, say any number. Yeah, you say. Five one one. Five hundred and five hundred eleven. Okay. Four 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 nine. Four forty nine. Okay. Three eighty four. Three eighty four. Okay. Eight thirty four. Eight thirty four. Okay. Five zero nine ninety nine. Five zero six and nine hundred and twelve. Nine hundred and twelve. Okay. Let's try to add. This is a three-digit number list, isn't it? I'm increasing the load. You must have seen how the bodybuilders do. First, they start with the dinky weights, and then they keep on piling up more pounds and all those things. So still, it is not that much load. I think I should be able to lift it comfortably. And you not see me do A ah and U. It would be very comfortably done. Okay, take this watch and say start. Start. Okay, five, eleven, nine, fifty, nine, sixty, twelve, one, forty-four, thirteen, forty-four, twenty-one, thirty-eight, twenty-one, seventy-eight, twenty-six, eighty-four, and thirty-five, eighty-six, thirty-five, ninety-six. Stop. Thirteen seconds. Just thirteen seconds, sir. <coughs> Isn't it? Accurate answer. Give a big hand. No sir, no sir. Please. <laughs> That's why you have to check my answer. Ah, now you are doing it in the reverse, sir. Huh? Overconfidence is a disastrous thing. Mm. You might be an expert, but still, if you are overconfident, then that's not good. I can only be confident once I have got that same answer in reverse. If All I right. So now he is going to check from the from reverse. the reverse side, right? Okay. I do yeah. 13 in the forward. Yeah. Let's see how much I start, start this stop. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nine, twelve. And fourteen, eighteen, and twenty-two, thirty-two, twenty-two, fifty-two, twenty-five, eighty-six, twenty-five, one thirty-six, twenty-six, thirty-six, thirty, thirty, fifty-five, thirty, eighty-five, thirty-five, eighty-six, thirty-five, ninety-six. Stop. Fourteen seconds. Accurate answer. <laughs> yes, absolute. I can. I would not say I can bet my mustaches on it because that I have already said. But yes, I am hundred percent sure now that this would be the right answer. I can bet my reputation on it. Okay. When you do it backwards, it becomes a different question. There is no way you can make the same mistake again. If a mistake would be made, it would be a different mistake, isn't it? So if I get the same answer in reverse, then it has to be the right answer. And once up, one more time, who is going to come this time? You come forward, okay? Ask someone to do it on the calculator. Yes, yes, yes. Documentary yes. evidence of accuracy. Documentary the evidence. Come, is it? Okay, start. Five one one. Five one one. Four four nine. Four four nine. Three eight four. Three eight four. Eight three four. Eight three four. Five zero six. Five zero six. <laughs> nine one two. Nine one two. Ita equal to what? Three five nine. Three five nine. Okay, it's a tie. Thirteen seconds only. Thirteen seconds. <laughs> so whether you do it manually or you do it mechanically, both ways you do see, it in thirteen see, seconds. Give a big hand to Sharia sir. It's a tie. It's a tie. Thirteen seconds. Let's be honest. Let's be fair. It's thirteen seconds. Okay. He did a brilliant job with the calculator. But look at this. Look at this. It's like man versus a jet aircraft, isn't it? So as of today, the Oxford Square is titling uh, Shahar Yasa as the uh, supersonic Concorde of mathematics. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> Give a big hand. <laughs>